みなさんこんにちはマルコ・テンペストですよろしくお願いします For a long time now I've been interested in the way magicians use technology to create illusions or prototype the future But the truth is that the secret behind many illusions is technology. The challenge for a magician is to hide it. So today I'd like to show you something I've been developing recently, which dives into this question on how magicians design tricks in a technological age. Magicians have always stayed ahead of the technology curve. Their illusions accomplish what technology cannot. But what happens when the technology of the day seems almost magical? What happens when you can do this? A hundred years ago, that would have been the magic of levitation. Now, is it possible to create illusions in a world where technology makes anything possible? Jump! You know how the trick is done. Where is the illusion? Play that. But still, our imagination is more powerful than our reasoning. And it's easy to attribute personality to machines. They are quadcopters, but they are more than mechanical flying machines. They analyze the environment around them and react to everything I do. Advanced algorithms allow these autonomous machines to fly in close formation, aware of each other, aware of me. Mathematics that can be mistaken for intelligence, and intelligence for personality. Anthropomorphism, that's the illusion. An illusion created by technology and embroidered by our imagination to become an intelligent flying robot. A machine that appears to be alive. I think they say hello. That's it. There you go. Now, guys, I think it's time to go home. All right, everybody. I would say、uh, over here. Come on, everybody. Come on, right here. Everybody can fit in. Come on. Come on. You can fit in. Where's our little escapist? Too little guy. There you go, a little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. There you go. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, as you already heard, my name is Marco Tempest. I'm a cyber illusionist and the founder of the Magic Lab in New York City. At the Magic Lab, we research and develop hybrids of illusion and technology. These k i n d of systems can be used to create new forms of interactive and immersive experiences. The tools of our trade include augmented and virtual reality, gestural sensing, robotics, projection mapping, and tracking. We then use the tools of the magician to conceal the method. And create systems that seem to go beyond what's currently possible. We think of this as forward planning the future or prototyping the future. Now, we're not yet at a place where we can create swarms of drones that follow our every thought or command. But as you have seen, we can simulate this experience using illusion. Now, the illusion not only gives us a very good idea of what we like to achieve. But it helps us understand how these emerging technologies might interface with users. The system you have seen in use today uses toy drones. They're very lightweight and safe, each has their own internal flight planner. The way they localize in here is that they have a tiny downward facing camera inside each of the drones. 
The camera then tracks the magic carpet pattern you see here on the stage. So each drone can fly completely independent and that creates a very robust system that has no single point of failure. Now, magic and illusion lend itself naturally for theater and entertainment. But at the Magic Lab, we have worked with many other industries to create new learning systems, product lounges, product prototypes, product uh, introdu introductions. If you'd like to learn more, I'd be very happy to talk with you. Meanwhile, I would like to say thank you to Singularity U Japan and to Patrick for inviting me to this summit. Thank you very much.